So who is Thomas Delour? Delour, Delour, Delour. How his last name is pronounced? Who is this guy? So this guy is a health expert. He is a performance coach, and he's a former 280 pound dude who now looks amazing. Dude's a stud. Dude's strong. Dude looks good. He's lean. He's fit. He's healthy. He's vibrant looking. The dude is a handsome guy. So we should listen to him, right? I mean, he's an author of three books, by the way. Don't you know? He's got three books. One book. Two book. Three book. Ooh. We should listen to this guy, shouldn't we? <sighs> Let's dive in. Thomas Solar has almost 2.5 million subscribers on YouTube. This video is all about why you should not follow Thomas DeLauer. But before I get into that, mama always taught me, I have to speak good, I gotta say some good things about him. So before I tell you why you shouldn't follow him, let's talk about some of the good that he's done. The very first one, this dude took control of his health. He used to be extremely overweight and extremely unhealthy, and he said, enough is enough. I need to be healthier. I need to be the person who I was born to be. So he lost the weight, got super fit, and now he's even making a living off of it off of YouTube and Facebook. That is incredible. We should all applaud him for that. And the second thing I'm gonna say about this guy is that his comment section is, for the most part, very positive. The people in his comment section are saying that the information's helped them or they're going to give this a shot. The people commenting say a lot of good things about him. So that's always positive to see. My personal philosophy is if you can help at least one person, then the information that you're giving is worth it. We're gonna come back to that because there are some caveats to that, so stay tuned for that point. And the third thing I'm going to applaud him for is he has gotten people to question health and nutrition. He has gotten people to have that conversation about what is working, what doesn't work, what's good information, what's bad. He's sparking a dialogue among thousands, if not millions of people. Now that we got that out of the way, before I get into what I don't like about his channel and why you shouldn't follow him, please make sure you hit that like button, smash that sucker, so that way this video gets more views, <laughs> and hit the subscribe button so you can see future videos as well. The first thing he does is he spews for more views. Let's look at his subscribers to his viewership count. If you look at all his videos, this dude, out of the 2.5 million subscribers this guy has, he only gets like under 50,000 views per video. There's people that have hundreds of thousands, millions fewer subscribers than him and get triple, quadruple to 10 times the amount of views that this guy gets. So you can tell that he got his subscribers early on in his YouTube career, and the more and more videos he's made to try to sound super smart, super intelligent, the more and more people drop off, the less people enjoy his information. The people have spoken, they don't enjoy his channel as much anymore, but let's get into some of the specifics. So the very first one is, it's glaringly obvious if you watch any of his YouTube channel videos, it's very obvious that he uses a ton of words that no one understands or that no one has heard of before in order to try to sound smart because the polyphenols in coffee actually trigger autophagy, activate what is called the AMPK pathway. And the reason we're sipping on lion's mane coffee is because the lion's mane has been demonstrated to stimulate brain-derived nootropic factor. <laughs> Tell in his videos that he reads off a teleprompter, he's like looking past the camera, hydroxidase. My personal philosophy is if you can't explain it simply to people, you don't understand it at all. Take me for example, I am a school teacher. I teach K through six health and physical education. I have to explain things super simply all of the time. Do I have a greater understanding of the things I'm talking about? Yes. Do I explain it at a college level to a third grader? No, I don't because you shouldn't. If I'm him, I'm thinking, okay, how can I speak in a way that's gonna impact the most people, that the people are going to understand that they're going to absorb this information and they're gonna be able to use it simply and effectively to change their life. Pretty easy, right? But this guy doesn't do that. He spits out a bunch of super complicated words in order to sound smart and all it does is confuse people. It doesn't make any sense. He's either lying or he doesn't know the information that he's talking about. And I'm honestly gonna kinda go towards that he doesn't really know what he's talking about because if you watch his home gym video, he explains a lot of different things that he uses for his home gym. If you're a performance coach, you should be able to explain things in the gym very, very easily. Check this out when he doesn't have a teleprompter. Uh, thrusting movements like this, this is a concept to skier or skier G, however you want to say it, because I knew that if I could not get my hands on other equipment, awesome, because it allows me to be able to 
just get into a traditional kind of squat deadlift, but actually be able to really focus on not loading my spine, you know, and messing around with the actual motion that I need to really play with. Does that sound like a performance coach to you? Does that sound like someone who knows what they're talking about? Nah, probably not. And the last way I know that he is spewing for more views is he takes studies and puts them in a way that fits his agenda rather than what the true information is. He has several times throughout his thousands of videos that he has studies that have under 15 participants. What kind of study is accurate that has under 15 participants that you can then apply to the millions and to the masses? There are tons of studies that counteract his arguments. Feel free to go look them up. I'm not gonna cite all of them in this video. The second thing that I definitely don't like about this guy is he acts like carbs are the devil. <sighs> carbs are the devil. <sighs> carbs are bad. <sighs> he goes to Costco, he goes to Aldi, he goes to Walmart, he goes to all these different grocery stores, and he shows you how to shop for keto on a budget. He has videos where he spends like $400 for a week on groceries for him and his family. Are you telling me that you can spend $1,600 a month on groceries and that's on a budget? No, that's no, that's so wrong. That is not on a budget for most people. This dude lives so far out of reality. He literally has hundreds of videos on YouTube saying that carbohydrates are bad, they make you fat, they, they give you bad hormone balances. What did a bagel ever do to you, bro? It wasn't the food that made you obese. It was you overeating calories that made you obese, dude. Carbs are not bad. And in fact, there are plenty of studies that are showing that carbohydrates actually help people maintain their diet. It gives them more satisfaction. It helps them stick to things longer term. You wanna know the best way to not stick to your diet? Hating it. Carbs are not the problem. Overeating calories is the problem. Find substitutions for lower calorie options that you're still going to enjoy. <laughs> now I get it, most of his videos are for people who love keto or who love fasting. And again, if that works for you, awesome. What I've found though, through the hundreds of people I've coached and the thousands of people I've talked to, it doesn't work for most people. It's not sustainable. So following this guy, when only 5% of people are gonna be able to take the information, run with it, and see results long term, not the best information. The number one way that you're going to lose fat if you're looking to lose fat is in a way that you enjoy in the way that you can do for a lifetime. Simple as that. This dude acts like the fructose and fruit is causing hormonal imbalances. It's making you store belly fat. It's, oh no, the fructose, it's so bad for you, no. No, it's not the, <laughs> Fruit has fiber, it has micronutrients, it tastes good, it's sweet, It people love it. So no, eat the fruit, people. Fruit's not bad for you. If you feel like you're eating a lot of fruit and you're gaining weight, okay, swap out the banana for like a blueberry. Swap out like the high, like an apple maybe for strawberries. Instead of taking the higher calorie fruit, eat the lower calorie fruit. There are fruits that are higher in calories and some that are lower in calories. If you're trying to lose weight, stick to more of the berries. But if you love bananas, fit them into your diet. It's not a big deal. I've not met one person that has gotten fat off of eating fruit. And the final thing that I don't like about his videos is that his information, in my opinion, do more harm than good. Do you remember when I said, if you can help at least one person, then it's all worth it? My personal philosophy is, if you can help at least one person, then the information that you're giving is worth it. Yeah, but yeah, when I said that. But if you help one person, and you confuse the other nine people, then your information probably wasn't good. If you're confusing 90% of the people, that's bad. It, it, it seriously does not matter what diet you follow, paleo, keto, intermittent fasting, Mediterranean, okay, it does not matter. The Domino's diet, they're all going to work as long as you're in a calorie deficit. I've literally done like three or four different diet challenges on my channel to showcase that it doesn't matter what you follow, if you're in a deficit, you're going to lose weight. If the person that you're listening to sounds like they're giving you bull crap, they're probably feeding you bull crap. If that person that you're listening to is tough to understand or it doesn't make much sense to you or you're having trouble understanding it, it's probably not the best information for you. Yep, you need to listen to people who are going to make sense, people that are going to give you actionable information, and people that are going to tell you like it is. People like Thomas Delar are going to just give you a bunch of sciencey mumbo jumbo, big huge words that don't make any sense, and in the long run, you're gonna be stuck, you're gonna be confused, and you're gonna be exactly where you 
where you started, right? You're not gonna see any progress. Well, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna pop up some videos here somewhere on the screen for you to watch right after this one. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.